Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi, young mathematicians. This is Mr. Woods Teaches. Today, we're going to be working with fractions. But before we start working in problems, we're going to work with... Fraction strips. Yeah, we're going to make our own. We're going to just do something really quick. And plus, we're going to review some new vocabulary. So let's take a look at this. I printed this out, I just created it on the computer, and I have this large strip here, and it says a one there. Well, that means it's one whole. It's one whole piece. Then I have two sections here. You'll notice I have a one, a slash, and a two. And I'm going to go over that, how that's written a little bit here. And then I have one slash two. So that's one half and one half. So two halves make one whole. Next line down, I have one slash four, that stands for one fourth, or sometimes it's called one quarter, like a quarter dollar, because you take four quarters to make one dollar. So I have one, two, three, four fourths make one whole, and two fourths make one half. Next line down, I have one slasher, that bar there, eight, and that's one eighth. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eighths make one whole. Two eighths make one quarter. Four eighths make one half. Okay? Following along, this is pretty easy stuff. Next, I have, look at all these pieces here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. That's why it has one over sixteen. And that's a one sixteenth. And there's 16 to one whole, 8 to one half, 4 to one quarter, and 2 to one eighth. See how we have an equivalency there? So what we need to do next, we need to cut it up. And I already started cutting a little bit, but look at this. Do I need to cut one anymore? No! I just need to go in here and just cut it up and just get this going here. See, I'm just cutting it. I don't have to be completely precise because we're, we're just working with these manipulatives. Okay, so we finished cutting out all these pieces, but before we move forward, I want to go over some new vocabulary. So we have this fraction, 1 16th. But what are all these pieces mean? Well, let me explain. So we have the numerator, and that's the top number here, okay? And then there's this thing called the Fraction bar. That's that thing right there. That's that horizontal line. But wait, we have it over here where it's slanted. So this can also be equal to 1 16. And there's the fraction bar. I had to do it like this so that I could see the numbers larger. Okay? And then down here, the bottom number, that's called the denominator. There we go. So the denominator is the the bottom number. Just think that like denom is like down low. Fraction bar is that bar that goes across or it's slanted. And then we have the numerator which is the number on top. That's how you can remember it. These strips here I created specifically to show different pieces and some equivalency. What is equivalency? I'm going to show you that here in a moment. Now remember, you can create your own fraction strips that have the values, the fractional values that you need. So if you're working with tenths, you can have tenths. If you're working with thirds, you can have thirds. Now, but that's up to you. For here, I'm going to show you some quick things here. So if we have two halves here, that's one half and one half make two halves. So if I have one half plus one half, if the denominators are the same, I'm going to have that at the bottom and then I just add the tops, the numerators, and I put the numerator on top of the fraction bar. But wait, we're not done. Two over two, well, two halves is equal to one whole. Easy peasy. Let's take a look at a couple other combinations for equivalency. The next equivalency problem is one half. But wait, how do we do that? 
Well, I could do one quarter and one quarter because let's take a look at this. So one fourth or plus one fourth or one quarter plus one quarter. Again, I have my fraction bar and my denominators are the same, so that's going to be the same right over here. I have one, two, fourths. How many twos go into here? One, two goes into there, and two, two. So two times two is equal to four. Look at that. And it shows you right here. Two quarters or two fourths is equal to one half. But wait, we're not done. We can work that with eighths. Let's take a look at how many, how many, can you predict how many eighths it's going to take? I have three up here. Do you think it's, let's take a look. Oh my goodness. So now we have one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth. And that equals, look at that. Denominators are all the same. Draw my fraction bar, eight, because that denominator, count up the number of numerators. So one plus one is two, plus one more is three, plus one more is four. That's four eighths. And we can clearly see that it's equal to one half. But wait, let's do the same thing we did with the half there. So how many fours go into four? We have one four. And then we have two. I made a mistake. How many fours go into one four? It's gonna be one, and then two fours go into eight, and I get a half. See, even Mr. Woods makes a mistake. Let's celebrate. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, enough celebrating. All right, so let's take a look at this a different way. I can take this away and put in that quarter because two eighths is equal to one quarter. Look at this. So I have one fourth plus one eighth plus one eighth equals, ooh, wait a minute. All the denominators aren't the same. How do I change it? Well, hold on a second. How many fours go into eight? Two, two of them. So I would have two four, or two eighths plus one eighth plus one eighth. Make that eight better. Look at that. So now I have the denominators all the same. Now I'm doing my fraction bar. So there's eight, two, three, four eighths. And if you remember up here, before it was going to be equal to one half. And, and I can demonstrate that. <clears throat> now let's take away this fourth and let's throw in some sixteenths. One, two, oh boy, three, and there's four. Sixteenths. Hmm. Let's see how that works. So I have four sixteenths. That is one, two, three, four. Remember that all the denominators are the same when we just add up the, the numerator. Plus one, two eighths. That equals, hmm, they're not the same. So I can say four sixteenths plus. 2 times what is equal to 16? 2 times 8. So I multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 2. So that's going to be 4 sixteenths. Get it? Okay. And then I'm going to have, let's see here, 4 plus 4 is 8 sixteenths. And that is also equal to 1 half. What I want you to do is to work on your equivalent fractions make up some problems, and you see how I uh, expanded or reduced, let's get that working for you. Until next time, this is Mr. Woods Teaches, and remember, math fluency replaces math anxiety.